Hello everybody, this is Pastor W.H. Bentford here, Shiloh Missionary Baptist Church. We're located at 608 Avenue with Cesar Chavez. That is one mile west of the pit. We're happy to be with you again and to share with you in another lesson. This is the third part of our lesson series, our new members lesson. Uh, today we will be talking about tithing. Tithing, this lesson on tithing will have two parts. And so right now we'll discuss the first part. We're happy to have you. I think tithing is an integral part of the church uh, because tithing is how the church runs and operates. Well, uh, whatever we take up in our tithes, this is how we build financially upon the kingdom of God. We, uh, as we get to this lesson on tithing, let's dive right in. What is tithing or what is biblical-based tithing? It is the universal biblical principle that the first and the best belongs to God. Jesus uh, reinforces or approves the tithes through Luke chapter 11, verse 42, also Matthew 23, verse 23. The Apostle Paul lays down the principles of proportionate giving upon the first day of the week. Let every one of you lay by him in store as God has prospered him. You can find that in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 1 and 2. We often fail to use God's resources to God's glory. Ask ourselves this question. Am I making the decision and living as if things belong to God or as if things belong to me? If I'm living as things belong to me, then of course I'm going to take my money every week and I'm going to go to the local mall and I'm going to spend money at the local mall and I think about God and the building of God's kingdom. When I think about uh, does the money belong to me, I'm going to do things to make, to enrich and enhance myself. But when we think about doing, does the tithe belong to God? We think about enhancing the kingdom of God. Here's what Malachi says. Malachi says, bring all the tithes to the storehouse that there may be meat in my house, saith the Lord. He says, prove me now. This is the only place in the Bible where God says to test me and see that I won't come through for you. God says that he can do more with the 10% than what we can with the 90%. So we want to test God. We want to try God. We want to prove God. And so that the whole world might see through us that if we tithe, God will take care of us. Here are several biblical-based reasons why we should tithe. Number one, we should tithe because the tithe belongs to God. If we don't tithe, we rob God. Every Sunday when the offering plate is passed, we witness one of the most serious and notorious robberies in our cities. We rob God because the tithe is the Lord's. Leviticus 27 and 30 says, we give God what is his when we tithe? Are you tithing? Are you giving God what belongs to him? The second reason, biblical-based reason we should tithe is because God commands us to tithe. We are commanded to bring the tithe to the storehouse, Malachi 3 and 10. Those who don't are disobedient. Even though a man tried to obey God in other parts of his life, his spiritual growth is incomplete if we are not faithful in the area of tithing. The third biblical-based reason why we should tithe is because tithing is an act of love. We measure our love for Christ by the <coughs> obedience, excuse me, the obedience of our tithe. Paul asked for the Christians at Corinth to prove <coughs> their love to him. See that ye are bound in this grace, also the grace of giving, to prove the sincerity of your love. That's found in 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 7 through 8. The fourth biblical reason why we should tithe is because tithing acknowledges God's ownership in our lives. God owns everything. He owns a cattle on a thousand hills, but not only does he own our material things, but God owns us. And as we tithe, it shows that God owns us. The tithe was de described as the first fruit meaning a person gave to God the first to be harvested. The book of Proverbs command, honor the Lord with thy substance and the first fruit of thine increase. 
That's Proverbs 3 and 9. We demonstrate our dedication when we tithe. We give him the first fruit because he is first in our lives. How many of you have put God first in, in your life? The fifth biblical reason why we should tithe is because tithing is good business. When we talk about business in church, we have a lot of annual business meetings and we talk about the money of the church. Well, God's business, good business, is tithing. You cannot do good business as a church, as an individual, until you've given your 10%, God's 10% back to him. When you tithe for the right reason, you have gone into business with God. He has promised that when you invest one-tenth of your income with him, he will open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, one blessing that you don't have room enough to receive it. That's found in Malachi 3 and 10. Here's the sixth biblical reason why you should tithe, because tithing would keep us from the lust of money. Those who don't tithe not only are disobedient, they demonstrate a greater love for money than they do for God. We always, we live in a society where we want to keep our money in our pocket and we save our money as though we're going to be able to take our money with us when we die. But the truth and the reality of the matter is that when you die, there will be no U-Haul following your hearse with your money in it. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they erred from the faith. That's 1 Timothy 6 and 10. Those who deposit their weekly tithe into God's bank reveal their faith in God and take care, who will take care of all of their earthly needs. Finally, the seventh reason why we should do biblical-based tithing, because tithing helps the church implement the Great Commission. The church is commanded to go into the world, to make disciples of every person, baptizing, converting, and teaching, which Christ commands. We find that in Matthew 28, 18 through 20. This includes money, to print tracts, to purchase radio time, to build buildings, uh, to take care of the preachers who come and share with us the word of God, uh, to carry out the countless other expenses associated with ministry. It takes money to do the ministry and the work of God. A tithing church will not have to beg for money, don't have to plan gimmicks to fund its budget or building fund. A tithing church don't have to sell chicken and chitlin dinners. If we tithe, God will take care of us. Again, this has been the first part of our lesson on tithe. I've been happy to share with you on this day. You can connect with us uh, on our website. Just go to ShilohMBCABQ.com. You'll see us there. I look forward to sharing with you once again. Thank you. God bless.